Welcome to The Flat. Every day begins to blur together into a soft, never-ending numbness. Play until you feel it is over. Sounded interesting, so I'll give it a go. Although my mouse sensitivity is pretty poopy, I will say. Eat to sleep. Let's check around the place. No, it's a nice place. A little, little kitchen here. He's got a little sink, uh, probably an oven. No dishwasher, just like me. Couch. A hidden door in a weird location that can't fully open because there's a couch in the way. Alright, that's pretty stupid, but... Is a, let's hope that's a drawer rather than a TV. Also, we're on a second floor. Huh. Oh, okay. A never-ending numbness. Oh, never mind. We're... It's a strange apartment, then. We're on a... This is a weird apartment. It's interesting, though. Like, I'm imagining myself living here, and I'm just like, hmm. Oh, it's like you got a bedroom. A little bedroom, a little bed. My, my bed is superior in every single way. Uh, dual monitor, desk, I mean, it's pretty cool. It'd be, a, it'd be an okay YouTuber, it'd just be the right height, you know, it could have an L desk here, even. It'd be perfect. An L desk here, a window, natural light, just remove the bed, put the bed somewhere else, like, I don't know, whatever, whatever's in here, maybe? And you got a kitchen. This area is stupid, it looks like a fireplace would go here, but it's just, they just, I don't know, maybe animate it, or texture it with bricks. Otherwise, eh, we'll sleep and see what happens, I guess. I'm not sure what aspect of this could be horror. E. E. I, I hit E too many times. We got an extra room, though. Should I just keep sleeping? I'm going to assume that this is just how it is. Is this another game about dementia and Alzheimer's? I can keep sleeping and subtle things will change. Let me double check the game store page. Hang on. I don't know how many levels they've included. So the tags are 3D creepy horror scary thriller walking simulator. Microwave on the bed. You know, that's normal. But music. That's nice. I'm just waiting for anything to provoke or promote stimulation like why do I play this game why should I play this game should I continue playing this game is it mostly observational things I've got an extra room that's cool but I get a feeling it's gonna be about dementia again like we go to sleep we wake up and then things have changed and we don't know why the only thing I could think of is well oh, this is about, is this about dementia Sometimes the door is closed. I'm going to sleep a whole bunch of times just to see... Oh. I mean, that's a little different. Okay, fine. I woke up and I wasn't even in my bed. The microwave is also back where it belongs. That's a good sign. Got a flat TV. That's nice. I wish I could move faster so I could explore the house a little bit faster, but... This room is still empty, and outside is still... Outside. Huh? I don't know. Is that table always there? Uh, well, whatever. Sleep. Oh. We're even in a weirder location now. Oh, the table is indeed gone. Oh, it's here now. Bathtub! Okay, yeah, something's messed. Y even if I had dementia, I mean, unless I lived on my own. But even then, I moved the bathtub with dementia or possibly Alzheimer's, and I moved the bathtub where my couch used to be? I don't know, man. Uh... What? The couch, but backwards? What is this room to? That's going to bug me. The fact that there's a door there I can't get to. I won't even check the lower floor, though. I move too slowly. 
E. 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 Sleep again. Ooh, couch down here. But I'm gonna presume, as the game store page implies... Oh, damn. There, there's, like, no ending. You just stop when you feel you've seen everything. I just gotta wait until I can get in there, maybe. Nope, oh, the kitchen's in here now. That's not exactly possible, because, I mean, you do need the pipes. And the electricity, you know, the outlets. You can't just, like, shove your, your oven anywhere. It has to be connected to this powerful fucking wire. A very specific spot. Hmm. And same with your dryer. And washing machine. You know, it's a lot of things you can't just move willy-nilly like that. Hmm. Well... Huh. What? Man, what am I doing with my life? Huh? Can I? Is it a closet? Like, uh. oh, some spookiness. It's darker, no. And a constant static noise. Not sure what to really think is, uh, could happen. Oh, never mind. Upside down furniture is always a good sign. But one of these worlds, that door maybe will be open rather than just a jar. And it's about looking every time. Maybe. And this is also incredibly bright. You'll be open one of these days, door. Looks like it may be a stairwell. Maybe. Hmm? Damn, man. I'm so curious. Just, like, just a, a, door, a door slightly ajar, and it bugs me this much. The bedroom always seems to stay... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, the bedroom stays the same. Oh, I wonder why. Hmm? Don't know what that line's for, but... You no, know, the place looks like shit. And the door is still... A jar. Yeah, it's getting, uh, it's getting worse. I think this is the end. Yeah, I'm pretty fucked. I'm spamming E. Oh, oh finally! Yes! Alright, let's explore. Yeah, I spam a lot of times. Maybe a lot of people would actually have given up already. Because honestly, I'm playing this and I'm like, I'm waiting for like a punchline or a point. Oh, ah, here we go. Because I've been playing, honestly not sure if I'm actually wanting to continue recording or not. Can I move forward? I can. I want to know if it's an experience I should continue or not. I'll continue.
<laughs> oh, come on. They're going with this very dramatic moment. And I'm back here? Or is the game restarting? You know, check around the entire house without just sleep spamming. Because obviously there's a bunch of things I've missed. Fucking vroom. Uh, there's a bunch of things I would have missed, obviously, from my lack of exploration every single time the house has changed. I'm gonna assume most 99% of it likely is just moved furniture with slightly redesigned level. You know, the microwave's on your bed, the microwave's in your oven, the microwave is here, the couch is here. But I've added, I didn't really miss anything massive. Oh, but I can't sleep anymore. There's more of a symbolic reason to this than... I can't sleep anymore. Something was wrong. Something became worse. I traveled down a light at the end of a tunnel. And then I'm back where I left off. We could surmise that the game is about dementia and Alzheimer's and we died. And now we're just... Spirits wandering our home for eternity now. Until us as a character and person, uh, or main character of this game, becomes a ghost in a Silent Hill game where they're misunderstood and they haunt the main character because they're troubled and they want to <laughs> depart to heaven, but they are stuck roaming their house, which then another character comes and opens as, oh, hey, let's check out this house, and then they get spooked because there's a ghost haunting the house. But it's actually not an evil ghost, it's the main character who's just an old person with Alzheimer's. And they just can't really let go of their house because they don't understand what's going on because their mind is so far gone. Who knows? But I think that's everything. As the Game Store page puts it, Every day begins to blur together into a soft, never-ending numbness. Play until you feel it is over. Technically speaking, it is definitely over now. I cannot imagine there being some convoluted way of going beyond this. There's the mystery of me, at least me, being bugged about what the fuck is in there, but... Like, would it... Would it collide with the bathroom at all, or no? No. But it would collide with... Here. Like, this is basically... I mean, I mean, it could go here. I want to know. Like, there's that area, and just... I don't know if there's anything more complex that's just like hidden in here. It looks like it could be a stairwell, a stairway though. I don't know. Either way, I don't know. Let's just leave that as a weird short experience. I won't even title the video. I'll just call it the flat, and then people can make up their own minds. It's an interesting experience. I'll just say that. I'll assume it is about dementia and Alzheimer's right after I finish a game about dementia and Alzheimer's. Quite an interesting coincidence and timing. But, oh, in terms of an experience, though, with an ending of the tunnel and the music choice, I at least feel the developer had an understanding of, um, what's the, the theatrics or cinematography in a way. Because that was a turning point where I'm like, eh, that's an, in that's an interesting send away to end the game. But ba basically it wraps around, you know, the main character, us, presumably dying. Again, after Alzheimer's gets way too worse, or way too bad, grammar. Otherwise, hey, I hope you enjoyed this short little experience. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, make a fluff subscriber, and the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Meow.